Hello everybody, City Tour Guy here in Sydney at the Sheraton Grand Hyde Park. And let's have a look. So check-in was smooth. Um, got a free box of chocolates. Happy days, winning at life. Um, this is a really nice room, but I did book this room. So um, haven't had an upgrade for Marriott in the last six hotels now, unfortunately. Um, so generally with Marriott, you seem to get what you pay for. So this is a corner terrace suite. Coffee machine, mini bar. Got a couple of milks there, which is nice. Um, they are free. Everything else you do have to pay. So if we've got so, some glasses down there, which is quite nice. If you want to have some drinks, you are more than welcome to. This is huge. This is a huge, huge area. Nice television there. And this is cool. So this is one of the cool parts of the room. That's Sydney Harbour over there. There's a very loud helicopter. Let's have a look. Yeah, so it's a bit dated, I would say. Um, we just came for the Intercontinental um, down the road, which is ultra modern. This seems, um, yeah, a bit old fashioned. The aircon's a bit loud. Um, so, out of the two hotels, I'd probably just about choose the Intercontinental because it's a bit modern. Um, both, both for a fantastic location. Huge bed. Not too sure about the um, the velvet throw there. Um, yeah, and some charging sockets down there, looks cool. A television there. Okay, let's go into the bathroom, have a look. So this doesn't have the one, the one toilet, the um, Intercontinental just corner suite we stayed that had had a second toilet as well, which is really cool. Um, but it didn't have a walk-in wardrobe, which is quite nice. His and her sinks. A uh, bit of a old, again old-fashioned bathroom, I would say. A bit of an old-fashioned soaker tub. Nice toiletries there, big walk-in shower, and the WC is in there. So yeah, the suite's really nice. Um, again, um, I think the Intercontinental would probably be my choice out of the two because of how modern it is. Um, but this is a great location as well, and I've got four nights here, so let's see what the rest of the hotel is like, and I'll give you a summary. Um, if you just keep watching this video. Okay, so we spent a few days here at the Sheraton Grand in um, Hyde Park in Sydney. And yeah, it's um, it's a nice hotel. It's it's not a great hotel in my opinion. It's a bit run, run down. It's a bit, um, a bit tired, needs a bit of money to put into the rooms. Um, yeah, if I had a choice between here and Intercontinental, um, Intercontinental hands down was... A better hotel for the quality the classiness the staff and how modern it was um the lounge here feels busy all the time um there's a, there's a lot of people rushing to get food happy hour we went once um and didn't bother going again just because it it felt like um being in a school canteen again trying to get past people to get a couple of free snacks so um yeah didn't, didn't bother doing that anymore really um because didn't want to do that um so yeah, bit um bit meh of a hotel really. Wouldn't wouldn't be staying here again. Um for the money there's in my opinion there's a lot better hotels in Sydney. So um yeah that that's it really at the Sheraton Hyde Park in Sydney. See you tall guy. Happy days, not really. We'll see you later.